Hi, I'm Dr. H from Literature and Languages, and this is how you make some fast, easy video instructions for your students. First thing you're going to need is some kind of app to record and capture your screen. I like Screencast-O-Matic. It's free, easy to use, got some great tutorials for the specific things that you can do. And once you sign up, log in, you're going to get to this launch record screen. Click that and you're set to go. Then you could say go over purpose, tasks, and criteria the way you would in class as sort of support for something that you've already written out. Or you could point to more specific things like um, a video that relates to a specific task using a tool or maybe an annotated example that you're going over. Sometimes it's easier to talk it through and easier for students to understand when you do that. The other thing I like to do is just use the tool on the recording. So for example, how you would talk a paper instead of write it like this. Hi, if you want to talk your paper instead of type it, just open a Word document and over in the corner you're going to see a microphone that has the word dictate on it. You're going to click that and then it's going to start turning everything you say into text. You can go back and edit later, but you'll have something down on your paper to get you started. Watch this. Ever want to type your paper? Delete type your paper. Talk your paper. Question mark. See, I got a sentence down without having to hit a key. If I can do it, so can you. Once you had something like that down, you would then save your video, end it, and put it on something like YouTube. And the reason I like YouTube is it works really well with Blackboard, but you could also save it to Screencast-O-Matic or, or wherever you want it. And on YouTube, you could set your setting as private, as unlisted, as public, whatever kind of security you're comfortable with. And then you would go to your Blackboard site. You could either create an announcement, or instructions with your learning units. And on build content, you have a video option. In your video option, there's this browse mashups, which takes you to YouTube videos. And you would start typing the title that is the saved title of your video. So mine is embedding code on a wiki. Go. Sorry. Hit that go. And you'd want a unique kind of title because if you just have something like instructions, which I've done before, you have a million videos to go through. But this is the video I want. I would hit select. There it is. Hit submit. And now I've got a video that students are going to watch along with whatever assignment or instructions that are following. So. This is something that saved me some time. Students seem to like it and uh, hope it helps some of you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.